All right, my friends, so we did a review uh, about a week ago, I think it was, on the a different Vigim. Vigim. I like saying it. I'm going to say it. I like saying Vigim. Um, and it was like a portable pocket light that bent, and I love it. I absolutely loved it. I thought out of all the little pocket LED RGB lights, uh, it's probably one of the ones that I like the most. It just, well, mostly because of the functionality that it gives for me. There may be other ones out there that you guys like, and that's that's also cool. Um, but the folks over at Ulanzi, which I think is the parent company of Vigim, Vig, Vig, Vigim, I don't know, uh, also sent this one here. This is the Vigim. Vigim. It makes, me, it, makes it sound classy, right? Vigim. Uh, this is the K1. Tabletop live light. Here it is on Amazon. Vigim desk mount video light LED studio photography light with built-in rechargeable battery. 14.25 inches. So it's I think it's a fair size. And for anybody that's doing uh, video streaming or has Zoom calls, etc., etc., this this could be really good. Or you're just maybe like me and you're have a little YouTube studio going on in your house, but you don't have a ton of money to put out towards lights or not a lot of space. So you want a light that's fairly large, doesn't take up, like I said, a lot of room on your desk, puts out a soft light because we don't want something too harsh and this fits in our budget. So may maybe this will, be this will be good, maybe, but we'll take a look at what comes in this box right here. Um, and uh, we'll actually turn off my light that I use here and kind of just replace it with this just to see what kind of results we get. All right, that's coming up right now. All right, my friends. So here it is. It's 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 a nice looking light, and you could use this for like studio stuff and doing YouTube and your TikTok videos or your your Instagram stuff or photos. I, I probably would use it for photos. Um, but you know, it does it's not an RGB light? It's a bicolored, so it does have your cool temperatures up to your warm temperatures. Uh, it's soft, which is the big thing I like about it. It's, it's supposedly a very soft light. Uh, five sections, 30 centimeters to 60 centimeters for height, uh, and it does rotate 360 degrees, so that's kind of cool. And it's hard to see in these photos really how big it is, right? Because it's just like, like in this photo here, it looks it looks massive. Like it looks so big in that photo. And here you're like, that's a little smaller. Here still, it's like, it's 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 like the size of her whole body. So I, I don't know how big this is, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm thinking that's probably closer to accurate right there, but that's, that's, that seems like a good, a good light for size wise. And about 70 bucks right now. No, no reviews on this one here on amazon.ca. So again, this was sent to us by Ulanzi. Thank you, Ulanzi. You guys amazing. And out of all the products we've gotten for them, I have been very pleased and they don't pay for any of these. These are just sent to us. They're like, here, try them out, see what you think. Let us know. If there's stuff that you don't like, let us know. If there's stuff you do like, awesome. So, Vigim, here's the box. This is it on the back, right? You guys may have to do a little turn like this, but voila. Oh yeah, see, Yulanzi. Yulanzi. All right, here we go. This is it right there. K1, it's a big manual. And that's a good size. Oh yes, that's a good size. That's about the same size in the circle, almost as my secondary light is over here. So I think that's, that'd be really nice for a tabletop light. So one side is in, not really sure. Oh, it's a bit of both. My guess is Chinese and English. Go see your dimensions, how to put your little tripod together or your tabletop stand together. It says K1 26 centimeters, so close to 30 maybe, 26. Okay, what do you get? So you get a USB to USB-C. It is a 90 degree. That's kind of nice. And it's long. It looks like it's nice and long. That's awesome. You get the physical stand bar, you know. So this is the bar here. And my guess is this, maybe if you spin this, maybe. This will loosen, maybe? Tighten, loosen? I don't really know. I'm not sure. Is there something in here that lets me go higher or 
Maybe I have, oh yeah, there you go. So there's your, oops. Whoa, whoa. There's your extension to get that higher if you want it, like up there. Mm hmm I like that. You get the physical light. We'll put that over here. And you get the, oh, that's good. That's nice and heavy, actually. I wish I had a little scale. I'd weigh that for you guys. Because I'd say that, that, well, that's all of it. I don't even know if you guys can see all of it. That's, yeah, that's metal. So, you know, you want that to have some weight. Because once it's sitting on the table, and it's got some padding on the bottom. I don't know what that little sticker guy is. Oh, that's where the that's where the screw goes, I'm guessing. So that you can I don't know, tighten it from the bottom if you needed to, maybe. All right. So anyway, that's the base Vigim K1. Foam on the bottom so you guys it's nice and soft. So it's sitting here, it's not going to make any sound. This, this here, my guess is that part goes in the light. This part goes here. It's all coming together. Yes. Okay, snug that on. And when this is here, that can get however you want. And then you can, it's a little squeaky. That's okay. It's a lot squeaky. That snugs in place. All right, or you loosen it, bring it down. I'm with you so far. This is the light. So you guys can see that. Does it have a little little stickery guy on top of the buttons here? Will I keep them there? I could, but I'm not gonna. That's coming off. See, that's a nice soft panel. I like that. You guys see that, I think? Hey, on the back, Vigim, front. Okay, let's move that over here a little bit. That's tall. That's nice that it's that tall, actually. I like that. You guys can't really see up, up high. I have to bring it down. But it's almost got a, almost like an extended GoPro style mount. You guys, do you see that there? Right? It's like a, almost a GoPro, but instead of like two prongs, it's four. Maybe you can see that up there. So then you can get it how you want, snug that. And that's what they're kind of talking about. You know, you could have this, you guys can't really see that. I'll bring it down here maybe. You can have it like, like this, and then you can kind of just rotate it however you kind of need it. And then of course you can, Right, so just kind of get it wherever you kind of feel. Get it tilted, however, snug it up. Boom. Right? Snug it up there. And now I'm blocking my own light. That's, that's good. Blocking my own light. Now the other thing is, on the back of this, right here, you guys may be able to see that, that's where your, your USB-C is going into. Alright. Make that again, make sure that's on there nice and snug. Good, I like that. And then this, yeah, I'm a little, there you go, get the light back on me, right? Get that light. And that one's going through a soft box. That's going through a soft box over there. This is gonna be all on its own. So what we're gonna do, you remember what this looks like right now. Just remember it, snapshot. Get it in your head, get it in your head. Now the other thing, I'm curious about, and I don't know, but I would be curious. Do I have, do I have it over here? I think I do. My curiosity says, because let's say you wanted this to be portable, right? And you got your computer, right? You got your computer here. And you're like, I don't necessarily, I'm out in the field. I'm out in the field and I want some extra light. Out in the field, want some extra light. That's there, you guys can't really see it. So I take this and I plug it into my, I plug it into my pewter. Can the computer give it enough power? Oh, I bet it does. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Right, off, on, power. I'm guessing maybe that's power up. There's your blue light, there's your normal light. That's off, and I gotta. So different levels, like it's, like it's, it's not, it's not, a, it's, again, it's a soft light, right? So we're, we're gonna do this, hold on. Um, hey Google, turn off the studio lights. Cause then we're just gonna have this, okay? So this is, we're gonna bring this in closer. So this is like at nothing and it's right there. It's, it's, well it's on, but it's on at low. On a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, it's a nice, it is a really soft light. Get it all the way up to full, you know? 
That's a, it's it's almost like a really nice almost like sculpting light kind of get that where you need it Right And if you're on like I like I said it's like a zoom call or your YouTube I'm pretty wide in my YouTube videos, but a lot of people aren't right a lot of people have They're kind of here and that's what they like and then you can bring this in a lot closer just to kind of get it where you want it and get let's say you were like okay okay I like that but let's let's get in a bit closer in here and you're talking to people that's out of shot now right there it is creeping in there okay right there oh that's got a lovely light on it and then you can change then you can change your color temperature that gives me a little bit more like of a, a yellowy there's my more bluey this is more normal. I'd have it, of course, right here. And then you got your, that's as bright as it gets, just so you guys know. But it's a really, it's a super soft light. You can see me getting rid of that there, right? All the way back up to giving it a nice little fill. Oh yes, that's okay. But you gotta, you know, if you really want it to like really brighten you up, you'd have to get, kind of be framed like this, I think, right? Get a nice frame in here like that. Yeah, no hat. How many of you noticed that? You're welcome, right? But I want to zoom this back out again, because that's that's where I am here, and for me, I'd want that like like this kind of, you know, you do you'd want it fairly close, I think, because it is like that's as bright. You guys see that? That's as bright as it's getting. It's a soft light. It really is. Hey Google, turn the studio lights on. Compared in well, that's a that's a much bigger light, and that lights. You guys can't see it, but it's it's much more expensive too. For a small studio where you have limited space, this is gonna sit close. That is a really nice soft light. But just realize, it is it is a soft light. Beautiful stand. Love that it can go up and down and flop around and do all that kind of stuff. That's super nice. And even in the picture here, right? The picture shows, like, sh see how close it is to her? That's kind of, that's very accurate. It, it does have to be fairly close to you. And you can see they have two there, right on the each side of their of the monitor, and I think that's exactly what this is kind of for. Here in this photo here, she's actually using almost like a probably like a fill light. This one's a little odd because the light is definitely not coming off of that side of her. But you get, I guess you get what they're what they're doing. Yeah, that's okay. And there's a little clock here. I don't know if the clock is like a timer, so if you want it to just turn off by itself after a certain point. Either way, yeah, it's all right. I don't mind that. Very cool. Again, know what you're getting, right? Because if you're looking for something that's like crazy bright, this isn't it. If you're looking for a nice soft light, and I believe that's what they say here somewhere. I can't remember where I read this. Um, they were talking about it really being a soft light, and it is. It's it's super soft, which is awesome. And most of us have to pay for this light. Almost cost as much as the soft box did, and that's not an expensive soft box by any means. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. This is the Vigim, Vigim K1, Vigim K1. You got it here. This is like 30 centimeters, and then you can punch it right up to 60 if you really want it there. Get some, even if you maybe had an accent like on, for, for like a hair light. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll put links down below if you guys are interested in this, this guy, the Vigim K1. Um, yeah, it's nice. I like it. It's very nice. And I'll leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. <clears throat> yeah, and we will see you guys next video. <sighs> Coming up probably tomorrow, I guess. All right, guys, later.